Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create some really awesome blur to your photos. Usually we will do this manually if we want to create some depth in our photo, but now we can actually let Photoshop do all the work. So for instance, if you have a photo and it hasn't got any blur, it's kind of feels like there is no depth in the photo. So now we can let Photoshop create that blur. And I tried it out and it looks really realistic. And if you didn't know yet, I have Photoshop courses in case you want to learn more about Photoshop. These courses are really good for photographers or digital artists. So make sure to check them out and let's get into this video. So let's go into Photoshop here. You can see here, I have this cute little bunny here and you can see here there is some blur in the background, but if we add more blur to this, we can create really nice depth, especially here on the center of its face. So once you got your photo in Photoshop, go to filter and select neural filters and in neural filters we can apply some filters to our photo to make it better now in the photography section we have depth blur you can see here it's still beta but i tried it out and it works really good even for beta so if you don't have it yet you just click on this icon to download that and then enable this so it's gonna process this so we can do some settings here and we want to make sure that we click to edit a focal point because if we don't click anywhere, it's gonna blur the whole photo out and we don't want that. You can see here, the blur is too much there and that's not where we want our focal point. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on its face here to select the focal point and you can see instantly here, its face is really nice. Now here we can change the settings for the blur strength. If you want some really, a lot of blur, you can really increase this one, but I would play around with this until I got something really nice and not too much, but still like a real photo and also the temperature you can also change here if you want to it's also pretty cool maybe i will drop the situation slightly there and let's see maybe the tint here like that now if i press on okay make sure to select a new layer so you can always go back to your original photo if you're gonna do current layer it's gonna destroy your original photo you don't want to destroy your original photo you want everything stacked in layers now you can see here this is now and before we had this so you can see it works really good it's a really nice kind of trick in photoshop to blur out your subject without having to move the background or anything like that so that's it thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and catch you on the next one